Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday News here on CNC3 and the TVC Radio Network. I'm Pavita Gopalchan. Thank you so much for joining us. Top of the news this afternoon. A five-year-old girl is now in critical condition after she was locked in a car for two hours on Sunday. CNC3 News understands the child's mother had left her in the care of a relative to attend a funeral. The 41-year-old mother told police that the relative agreed to bring her daughter and other children to the funeral. However, she said around 4 p.m. she saw the relative, but she did not see her daughter. When she asked for her daughter, she was told that the child was in the vehicle. She then found the child unconscious and covered in vomit and urine. The mother rushed her daughter to the Saparia District Health Facility, where she was treated and transferred to the San Fernando General Hospital. A medical report obtained by the police listed the doctor's findings as severe dehydration due to a heat stroke, aspiration pneumonia and brain injury caused by oxygen deprivation. In crime-related news, our four men were shot and killed in Belmont on Sunday night. Police say Brandon Ford, 23, Siobhan Clark, 26, Brian Padmore, 27, and Karen Moore, 31, were lying at the corner of Smart Place and Belmont Circular Road around 10 p.m. when an SUV drove up to them. Five men with guns got out and shot at the group before driving off. Residents heard the gunshots and called the police. Investigations are ongoing. And a 33-year-old Coco Reed man was shot and killed while sitting in his car in the parking lot of Superfarm in Digo Martin. The incident took place yesterday afternoon. Police said Nesta Sami alias Papi was in the driver's seat of his white Suzuki Grand Vitara at Superfarm on Sierra Leone Drive around 6.40 p.m. when a white Hyundai Elantra drove nearby. A gunman got out of the car and shot Sami several times through the door. The gunman got back in the Elantra and drove off. Sami died at the scene. Yet several charges before the court, officers of the Homicide Bureau of Investigations Region 1 are continuing those inquiries. Still on the crime front, a man was arrested after he was shot on Sunday. Police received reports that a man was shot near a bar at St. Michael Road in Takariqua. When they arrived, officers found a 22-year-old man with a gunshot wound to his leg. He also allegedly was in possession of a gun and ammunition. He was arrested and taken for medical attention. On another note, National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines met with U.S. Ambassador Candace Bond and officials of the National Security Ministry and the U.S. Embassy last Wednesday. Minister Hines and Ambassador Bond met to discuss ongoing bilateral initiatives between U.S. and local law enforcement agencies on security and defense matters. Hines expressed his appreciation to Ambassador Bond for her ongoing dedication to working with his country to counter the negative impacts of transnational organized crime, particularly traffic trafficking in persons, firearms trafficking and narcotics trafficking. Heinz and Ambassador Bond committed to deepening the security cooperation between TNT and the United States of America. Now, with a rise in fatal road traffic accidents, the TTPS is advising motorists to obey the road traffic regulations and avoid the temptation to speed. Sergeant Brent Batson says speeding is a major contributor to many fatal accidents. And while there has been some notable changes in behavior patterns resulting in a decrease in the number of fatal accidents last year, the figures are still rising. The speeding and, and, and DUI behaviors seem to have creeped back you know, in, into the culture. And, and we have to work harder from an enforcement standpoint to, to suppress it. Um, we were hoping that, that persons would have realized, you know, we we're winning the battle, you know, against this type of high-risk behavior um, as we saw that continuous decline. Um, but this year, like, it's, uh, it have 85, we have 85 road traffic deaths compared to 75 for the same period. So, um, you know, it means we have to work harder. And with the Yuletide season upon us, Sergeant Batson is urging pedestrians as well as motorists to limit their alcohol intake and be mindful of all road users. Uh, we're coming up into Christmas and, and um, we, we're going to we know that people are going to plan there are a lot more, you know, uh, party launches. There's a lot more activities coming up. So again, DUI risk has to be elevated. Um, we're across here for, for, for Carnival here in Tobago, and, and we've been doing a lot of activities. Um, over 136 penalty notices issued to drivers for various offenses, especially seatbelts, people not wearing their seatbelts. 
And some sad news here. Helen Bagwan Singh has died at the age of 83. Bagwan Singh's hardware group marketing manager Bali Ramjan confirmed the news of her passing and told CNC3 News she breathed her last at one this morning. Now, all Bagwan Singh's stores across the country have been closed today to mark her passing in August 2011. Helen Bagwan Singh received the Order of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago for Distinguished Outstanding Service to TNT in the sphere of community service. Also in 2011, the University of the West Indies conferred upon her the title of Doctor of Law. In 2000, she was named Woman of the Millennium by the TNT Chamber of Energy and was the first woman to be inducted into the TNT Chamber of Industry and Commerce's Business Hall of Fame. She's revered as one of the most successful businesswomen in this country. And the rhythmic sounds of the bongo drums rang out from the Embarcadet Community Sanchez Mona's bid farewell to Wasa worker Keen Etienne. Now, as Chief Executive Officer Calvin Romain and San Fernando Mayor Robert Paris were in attendance and both guarded Etienne's mother, Joyce Grants Roberts, and other family members. The mourners wore black t shirts with the words, How's your lo love life? words which Etienne always used as a greeting. Others wore red t shirts with the words, Justice for Kern. Matriarch Hazel Wilson, who delivered the opening prayer, begged God to give the family the strength to cope. Etienne was crushed to death after being buried alive inside a trench two Sundays ago. Investigations by the Occupational Safety and Health Agency as well as WASA are ongoing. It's time for a short break. We'll be right back with some sport news. It's bumper to bumper traffic. I am here and I will definitely be late because I still have to pass by the ATM to get cash for you. So see, no, no, no. Don't put you on that. You can pay with that cash. So just come straight here. Yeah. NCash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use NCash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on NCash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Download the app and create your wallet today. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health. It helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Get beauty from within and keep that glowing and ageless look with antioxidant for your skin. Antioxidant fights signs of aging, reduces acne, smooths out fine lines and reduces the appearance of age spots. Add Antoxo 4 to your skincare routine. Distributed by Quelcor International Limited. Available at pharmacies nationwide. Diwali is in the air again and Royal Castle reminds you to try its yummy veggie burger. The Royal Castle veggie burger is great on its own or in a combo with a side and a 16 ounce drink. And it's healthy too. A nutritious patty made with oats, lentils, chana, potatoes and carrot. Inside a soft bun with tomatoes and lettuce. So for this season, try the castle's tasty and healthy veggie burger. Shub Diwali from Royal Royal Castle. The biggest Christmas sale is at CV Optical. Get an amazing 60% off designer frames. Also, get 40% off prescription lenses. Plus, you get a free pair of Polaroid sunglasses on selected purchases. See us today at CV Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. Welcome back, Michelle Lee Ayi and Rhea Thomas are among the athletes that will be in action in track and field at the Pan Am Games in Chile today. The duo will line up in the women's 100 meter semifinals this evening. They will be joined by Gerard Elcock in the men's 100 meters semifinal. Also today, Rian Chang will come up against Cuba's Daniela Fonseca in the women's singles round of 32 table tennis. And Athens Rugby Football Club beat Royal Leons 1915 to win the Marcus Minshall knockout semi-final, final that is, at the Hazley Crawford Stadium training field on Sunday evening. With a score in 15-14 in Royal Leon's favour, Wendell Fullerton scored the try to make it 1915 for the win as the Royal Leon's ran out of time to stage a late comeback. 
And the American NBA staff Curry scored 24 and Clay Thompson added 19 in Golden State Warriors 106-95 win over the Houston Rockets. Jalen Green scored 21 points for the Rockets and Jaron Fox scored a game high of 37 points in the Sacramento Kings 132-127 win over the Los Angeles Lakers. Anthony Davis scored 30 points and pulled 16 boards for the Lakers while LeBron James contributed 27 points and 15 rebounds. Bounds. That's it for sport. It's back to a break. Empower your world with PRW Technologies. Get your PS5, Nintendo Switch, and Oculus games. Check us out for Robot Vacuum, only $1,399. Security combo starting from $2,800. Projectors from $999. Laptops from $2,499. Portable speakers, $899. Three months layaway available. Call PRW today, 285-9779. Check us in store for TVs inks, desk, monitors, and lots more. One good thing has led to another. Make your taste buds go boom with Devon Digestive Bites. Delicious digestive biscuit balls coated in chocolate. An explosion of great taste. Digestive Bites. Make your taste buds go boom. Unlock your mind's incredible capacity like never before. Introducing Advances Smart Plus, the groundbreaking solution that over time can help supercharge your memory, concentration, and unleash your mental performance. Our cutting-edge formula features an unparalleled blend of 13 clinically researched natural ingredients, selected for its proven ability to work synergistically to help optimize brain function. Feel the difference now with Advances Smart Plus, available at leading pharmacies and Pennywise Nationwide. Get beauty from within and keep that glowing and ageless look with antioxidant for your skin. Antioxidants fight signs of aging, reduces acne, smooths out fine lines and reduces the appearance of age spots. Add Antoxo 4 to your skincare routine. Distributed by Qualcore International Limited. Available at pharmacies nationwide. Jamaica's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Kamina Johnson-Smith, says while Jamaica was absent from Friday's United Nations General Assembly vote on a resolution calling for a humanitarian truce in Gaza, it supports the resolution. Johnson-Smith has previously explained Jamaica's absence, saying that deliberations were still taking place when the vote was finalized. However, the government has been criticized for missing the vote, with the opposition describing the situation as a new law in Jamaica's foreign policy history. In a media release on Sunday, Sunday evening, Johnson Smith said Jamaica's failure to vote on the resolution was not a shift in its stance on human rights. She further stated that Jamaica, as the chair of the Carrigan Caucus of Ambassadors at the United Nations, was actively engaged in discussions concerning the Jordanian resolution and not only collaborated on the Carrigan statement, but led its drafting. Police were asked to check on card on a card just weeks before last Wednesday's attacks in Lewiston. It came after a fellow National Guardsman expressed concern. Uh, Card rather, would snap and commit a mass shooting. Now, Card was found dead on Friday from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. His body was discovered inside a box trailer belonging to a recycling facility he'd recently been fired from. Here's more for you in this report. Just weeks before he went on a rampage killing 18 people, the Maine National Guard asked local authorities to initiate a wellness check on Robert Card. A source telling CNN one National Guardsman was concerned. Card is going to snap and commit a mass shooting. The Sagadaw County Sheriff's Office went to the former reservist's home twice. A source telling CNN he wasn't home during one of those visits, prompting the sergeant who tried to check on him to send out a missing persons report. The other is...
Now for the weather forecast, Trinidad and Tobago can expect sunny conditions that will likely be interrupted by a few partly cloudy spells with showers over a few areas. There is a medium chance of isolated thunderstorm activity. There is also a hazardous seas alert yellow level in effect. Seas are slight to moderate with waves up to 1.5 meters in open waters and below 1 meter but occasionally chopping sheltered areas. Today's maximum temperature is expected to be 33 degrees Celsius in Trinidad and 32 in Tobago. Well, thank you so much for joining us for a look at the day's developments. Your fall, we'll have these stories and so much more coming up for you in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. In the meantime, have a great day.